let me create a class my lambda example and the main method inside it and let me copy a function from our previous methods here is my function now we will convert this long code into a lambda expression I am removing all this boilerplate code and this one and after that I'm putting the curly braces and I'm just defining a variable here everything is possible you may say L you may say P whatever but this is important you need to use the same variable here the same name okay so you cannot tell t here if you defined the variable as p okay so i'm changing it to p and our lambda expression is ready since this is an ordinary statement you need to put a semicolon again at the end of the definition now this find word count simply refers to a function okay that's why you may refer it by find word count and you may use this lambda expression as it's an ordinary function instance okay and you may invoke all the methods of it so let's say apply test test and you may assign the result to an integer let's say i and print it out we will see two we see two so that's all now let me show you a trick here what if i remove the return keyword here if you remove the return keyword uh, things change a bit because if you are using curly brackets you need to use the return keyword if you will not use the return keyword you should not use the curly braces also so i removed the curly braces that's why i'm removing the uh, statements semicolon so i have shortened the code a bit more so this is also valid let's try it The result is 2 so this is the shortest version for defining a function with lambda expressions let me define a lambda expression for replacing uh, a predicate let's say this is our predicate and I'm copying it here the same thing will go on we will remove the boilerplate code okay from the beginning and at the end and the return statement the only thing we should do is to define the variable t and t goes to t length is smaller than 50 that's all this lambda expression will be internally referred by a predicate the anonymous inner class instance will be created automatically by JVM. This is just a shorthand. Let me repeat it again. Lambda expression is just a shorthand to create some of the functional interfaces. But in the background, JVM creates the predicate instance again. Okay, that's why you may invoke references all the methods let's repeat these again since the expression here returns a boolean jvm understands that this whole lambda expression corresponds to a predicate and i can refer it by a predicate reference what if i remove the string here as you can see the code does not compile because in this case JVM does not understand what is the type of this variable t this t may be an integer 
or a date or a string whatever so this length is may not be defined in this variable okay if you don't use uh, the generic type on the predicate you may define it on the variable definition but if you use it you need to put parenthesis here but as you can see compiler does not allow to use a string here it says lambda expressions parameter is expected to be of type object so if you don't define a generic type here you may define only as object okay in this case you must cast this object to a string like this and then use it but this is not a cool solution that's why we are removing the type definitions here and use the generic type here okay and then we may invoke test method of size checker and this will print out false right sorry true right because uh, Talha has less than 50 characters let's see it true now let me show you how suppliers are written by lambda expressions because lambda expressions does not have an input so how to write this here we have a supplier example let's copy this to here let's replace this long code again with a lambda expression i'm removing the boilerplate code and this one also return statement and i write something here as lambda expression but i don't know what to write on the left hand side because there is no input argument in this case this is enough to write okay from nothing to a calendar instance since this lambda expression gets no input argument zero arguments and returns an object jvm understands that this lambda expression corresponds to a supplier so you may refer it by a supplier reference and i'm removing this also now calendar supplier that get will return me a calendar instance okay let me print out c dot get time run as your application and here we get uh, a calendar instance by this lambda expression in the next chapter we will talk about how to refer um, class methods instead of lambda expressions see you then